Hello, hello again. Welcome to our Tuesday tip. And this one today is for aspiring expats and it's for um, repats or repatriation um, folks. And two is, we will talk about two things in particular. Um, one is culture shock um, and then reverse culture shock. And so I'll just give you a quick synopsis um, for you to think about. So culture shock is usually when you've entered into your new country, your new space, and the transition you're going through, um, the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows of being excited, being homesick, um, transitioning, understanding the new cultural norms, um, adjusting to um, daily life, adjust, adjusting to work life if you're there working, um, and so all that sensory overload that you may be experiencing when you first arrive and typically up to the first six months, potentially a year of adjusting into a new country, you could be experiencing culture shock in ebbs and flows. And so just be aware of that. And that applies to you and or family members if you're traveling with family, your children, your spouse, your partner. Um, all can experience culture shock at different levels and stages throughout that initial phase of your move and move into and settling in in a new country. The other part of that is reverse culture shock. So let's say you've spent a year, two, five, even 10 years abroad and you decide to move or return to your home country or what you consider your permanent host country you could be experiencing reverse culture shock because again, you are doing adjusting to a country and culture that you tend to visit on a regular basis, but now you're back in the space permanently. And while you've been abroad and you've been somewhere else, that country has moved on, things have changed, dynamics have changed, and you're now trying to reintegrate into the place you left or the place you called home base in a long-term perspective. And so you're experiencing that reverse going back to what you left, but it's not what you left. It's a, it's a new version of the country that you left. Um, so realize that some of that ebb and flow, adjusting back in, what has changed, what hasn't changed, um, is also part of the adjustment phase when you repatriate to um, that host country or home country um, that you will consider um, home or that new space of permanency. Um, so just realize that and realize that both culture shock and reverse culture shock are real. Realize that they take time to navigate. Um, they come in ebbs and flows. They apply to both you and all members of your family if you're traveling and moving with a family. Um, and it requires some of the normal frustrations that you'll experience um, to reintegrate into any society or establish yourself in a new society because uh, that's really what you're doing, whether you are going somewhere new for the first time or you're going back to somewhere that you used to be established to. So that's my tip for today. Remember culture shock and reverse culture shock and remember that you need to navigate them and give yourself time, space, and grace to handle the frustrations and the challenges that may come with each. Thank you and that's my tip for today.